I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. In this video, let's talk about DF83 from uh, Turin. Okay, so last couple of days, uh, 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 we've been talking about the, the niche duo, the 83 millimeter flapper. So pretty much this is direct competition to niche grinder. Okay, direct competition. So we have uh, DF83 and we have DF83. Uh, we have a niche 83 and we have DF83. This is it. I don't think they, uh, there's any other 83 millimeter burst uh, copy grinders out there. I'm talking about that price point. Anything under $1,000. So comes to price point. Uh, if you go to Espresso Outlet right now, uh, I think is on sale for 700 bucks. And I know Joe has like $50 off coupon code. So make sure asking for the coupon code if you want. Well, uh, you know, just make sure mention twin. And then with DF, uh, we have a, let's see here, a niche duo, okay, is about 800 pounds. So 800 pounds, just under uh, 1,000 bucks. But we don't know exactly what's the value added tax going to be, all right? And obviously you have to pay shipping that shipping as well. So so final price around twelve hundred dollars. So and then with a the niche, you're looking at about five hundred and sixty RPM. Okay. Niche is about five hundred and sixty RPM versus with DF eighty three, it's about at least twelve hundred RPM. It's pretty uh, it's pretty fast. It's fast motor. And I know some of you out there, you know, the higher RPM versus lower RPM comes to making espresso, it's not a whole lot of, I don't think you cannot tell the difference between high RPM versus low RPM on espresso. But in my past experience, with the low RPM on filter coffee, I felt like they're a little bit better. Okay, that feel like a little bit better. Not much, but you know, there are definitely uh, uh, noticeable differences there. So, uh, we are going to brew some coffee this afternoon. And let's talk more about uh, DF83, okay? And that because DF83 does great job on espresso, all right? Everybody knows that. I'm really enjoying it from espresso, but I'm more curious about how it's performed with the pour over, filter coffee, okay? Because with a niche, uh, they're going to, uh, let's see, uh, they're, they're going to set you up the tubers, okay? Tubers that filter, focused and espresso focused. So the two bar sets there. But with DF83, obviously it's only one. Okay. Uh, also, if you are just joining us, make sure to join the live chat as well. Okay, we have Lance. Big shout out to Lance. Uh, Lance also joined us yesterday too. Hey Lance, we gotta do some live streaming together, okay? And then we, uh, we can talk, uh, talk about some grinders. All right, and also we have Big Pop. Shout out to Big Papas for Super Sticker. Of course, we've got Mr. Rainbows as well. DK is also joining us too. We have the Alley. And then we have Richards on. Shout out to Barrett from Porter Keeper. Okay. By the way, Porter Keeper is, he's not a big fan of uh, Niche Duo. So, okay. He's not a big fan of Niche Duo. I know for a fact. Okay. Shout out to Barrett. All right. And so this is a, a version 2, DF83. I believe, I, I believe Lance has this grinder, okay? I think Lance loves this grinder, by the way. Lance, correct me, uh, correct me I'm wrong, okay? All right. All right, correct me I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Lance liked the grinder. I mean, that is a really, little sneaky, good grinder. Okay, so right now, your only burr option is Mother Burrs. Uh, and also, let's see here. Uh, what else? Uh, we have a SSP. HU burst, and then but SSP is working on MP and also like kind of like like lap sweep type. So I believe there are two other bursts coming out. I, I hope that's true. Uh, Lance, I think Lance knows more than I do. So uh, the, uh, Lance thinks that DF83 is an insane cost to value. Okay. By the way, so Lance did order the niche duo recently, so I cannot wait to hear. If, on his review down the road, okay. Hold on, so Lance has the, I have the lap sweep 83 on the way. So he's getting the lap sweep on the way. Man, 
It'd be very interesting though, okay, because we got the DF83 with a lot more, a lot of burr option as well with plenty of power. We have a niche duo coming up in July, okay. I think they'll start, uh, yeah, I mean, they'll start doing, uh, start shipping around July too. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Okay, I, I cannot wait to, because we got the thousand bucks for niche duo. Plus we have value added tax and shipping costs. We are talking about bringing it up to maybe 11 or 12 with a DF83 starting around like 650, 650 or 700 bucks, uh, depend on if you got $50 off on coupon code. So, so let's say $700. With uh, SSP 83, you are looking at around $300 range there. So bring you up to 1,000 with, with pre spectacular birds. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see here. So Lance said he's going to join us uh, on our Discord later. Yeah, you'd be great, Lance. Okay, you'd be fantastic. Uh, if you have a link, let me know, okay? If you don't have a link, I'm going to send you the link. Yeah, it'd be, uh, it'd be a lot of fun there. Okay, meantime, oh, so let's talk about bird size. I know 83, what 83 means, okay? So this is a 64, okay, the 64. 83, okay, as you can see, it's much bigger there. And check this out. So this is 83. And this is 98, okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a three, uh, three hands, so yeah. So 98, 83, compared to 83 to, uh, to 98, this is, looks pretty small. But with 83, to 64, even smaller. Okay, so this 64. I know a lot of grinders out there, you are looking at like 52, 58. I mean, 64 is pretty, pretty decent size. With 83, so that's what you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get if you're gonna get the 83 millimeter coffee grinder. So, I mean, that is uh, pretty spectacular. Okay, pretty spectacular there. All right, uh, so let's brew some coffee right now. Let's see what we got here today. I'm going to be using origami. And I'm going to be, uh, let's do, uh, I got a new coffee from uh, Brent from Good Brothers, okay? It's called Colombia Finca La Flores. So this is the anaerobic process. And it's a natural, uh, uh, anaerobic natural. Uh, I consider highly processed, okay? So it's going to be very, uh, you know, give you a lot more interesting tasting notes. It's gonna be, it's, if you're into wash coffee, if you're into wash Ethiopia, this is completely opposite. Let's put it that way, all right? And also we got some, if you guys are into like interesting uh, processed coffees or some friends at Hydrangea as well. Uh, I got 25% coupon code with Brent at the uh, Good Brothers Coffee. And beer from Hydrangea, I have a 10% coupon code, so I'm gonna put the link when I'm done with it, okay? Make sure, if you guys are bo tired of drinking washed coffee, definitely worth trying. And there comes the water temperature, I'm gonna set at 94. You know what, I'm gonna set at even 90, okay? Maybe 92. Because with the like highly processed coffee, uh, I prefer, yeah, prefer a little bit cool. I mean, I don't wanna go on 98, okay? Or not, not in a boiling temperature, okay? Uh, let's see here. We have a shout out to Troy. I'm drinking hydrate uh, lightsy. Troy, the lightsy is pretty good, aren't they? They are fantastic. Okay, so that's one of my favorite. All right, let's brew some coffee here, and then we can talk some more, uh, more coffee. Okay, more uh, about the grinder. I know people ask me, Hoon, why are you wearing gloves?" Okay, uh, the reason is I I I have a I don't want to go in detail, but I have a skin condition, okay? Skin co condition caused by COVID-19, let's put it that way, okay? So I'm still dealing with it. So it's been like two years, so. Okay, I'm gonna shout out to Jay from Ono Coffee. So Jay is also joining us as well, shout out to Jay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, let's brew some coffee, folks. About uh, uh, if you haven't checked out Ono Coffee, make sure to check out the Jay's uh, YouTube channel. Jay does 
pretty incredible YouTube videos, by the way. Okay, again, so this is a 98, we, I showed you earlier, 98, 83, and 64. Man, look at the size difference. I, I feel like I'm comparing, like, you know, planets. Okay, here we go. So that's set to the side. Uh, comes to grind size, I'm just going to guess it right now. Uh, with uh, earlier, uh, I was looking at some specs. The niche grinder does about uh, one gram per second, okay? But with DF83, uh, let's uh, measure that. I got my timer. Okay, if you're just joining us, for the first time joining us, welcome to live streaming. Okay, so this is again the Good Brothers Coffee here, Colombia Finca La Flores. Uh, let's see here, we have a dragon fruit, red fruit, and papaya as a tasting notes. So this is the brand new bag. We are just opening up right now. So this is more like medium roast there, more like medium to light. Let's do 15 gram dose. Okay, 15, yep. And with this grinder, I like to just add just tiny bit of kind of like the uh, RDT, just a little bit, okay, not too much, just tiny bit of it. All right, you don't need much. There we go. Uh, with the grinder, I like to do this called hot start. Uh, I like to start the motor first. And then put the grind, uh, copy music. Man, you know what? I don't, I don't even have time to press the button, okay? It's done. We are talking about seconds, okay? We are talking about seconds. Goodness. So grind is, I'm just a little bit of water does the wonders. You know, static, free. By the way, so this grinder is about 28 pounds, okay? Almost 30 pounds on this one. That is pretty heavy duty. Uh, we are using the origami for this afternoon's uh, brewing method. And there comes the paper. I'm using the CAFEC paper there, the cone shaped paper. I'm just gonna. Watch some paper. Uh, there's a couple different school of thoughts. I know some people like to watch the paper. Some papers not, but you know what? Just do whatever you want, guys, okay? There's no bad way, let's put it that way. All right. If you want to wash it, great. I got 15 gram in, I got 15 gram out. 14.9, that's close enough. So comes to retention. Uh, not too bad, okay. I, there are pretty much zero retention there. Just gonna my stick here. I'm just gonna make a little hole. Water at 92 Celsius. It's a very simple pump. I'm gonna start with 30 grams of water. Okay. I'm just gonna bloom it. Okay. I'm going to wait about 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to wait about 30 seconds there. So next put I'm going to go up to about 120. Okay, I'm just going to go nice and easy side to side. Clean up the side as well. Nice and easy. Go out to 120. At this point, I'm just going to go a nice little drip, okay? I'm going to match the, the output going out. 
It's going to match the output going out just nice and easy, kind of like middle pull there. I'm going to go up to 240. Should take about a minute and 30 seconds. Okay. It's close to 240. I'm just going to do a final wash to the side. Go up to 240. That's it. The smell is absolutely fantastic. Again, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. When it comes to brew time, I like to be uh, just uh, around two minute mark there. That's what I'm looking for. So right now, I'm at 150 right now. Uh, this is perfect, about around two minutes. Two minutes and five seconds, good. So that was, uh, so this is what I was looking for. Man, the smell is amazing, folks. Okay, let's have some quick taste. And then after that, let's talk about some grinder some more. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so it comes to, you know, you know let's try coffee first. So this is a coffee from uh, Colombia, the Finca La Flores. Okay. Cheers, guys. Man, it's clean. Okay. Clean, bring out that kind of red fruits, just like the tasting the same. Can uh, papaya uh, finishing tasting note as well. Yeah, I did. This this is good. Okay, so uh, the thing is, uh, so I have the SSPHU high uniformity, okay, but the high uniformity produce a lot of fines. That's why they're fantastic on espresso, okay, you know, give you a fantastic body, they're great. But the HU, is, HU especially 64 millimeter high uniformity, is not known for uh, filter coffee, but with the size difference, okay, with the 64 and 83, they give you even, uh, I, I have to say, give you more, the even uh, distribution comes to grind size-wise, even more even, which means less fine than 64, okay? Obviously, with the 98, uh, with the 98, a uh, high uniformity uh, is more like similar to 64 millimeter uh, multi-purpose. The naming is terrible with SSP, okay? You figure high uniformity is high uniformity, more uniform, but it's not. MP is more high, uh, more high uniform than HU, okay? So, so 98, so 98 HU is kind of like similar to uh, 64 uh, MP multi-purpose. So again, so it's kind of like between that with 83. Uh, that's why they still give you that still cleaner taste. I mean, if you do uh, 64 HU on filter copy, it's not as clean as this, but with 64, uh, six, uh, uh, 83, I mean, that's pretty clean. Yeah, it's really clean. I can taste all the this wonderful tasting notes as well. I mean, that's fantastic. Okay. I know I'm gonna uh, uh, look like we have a Barrett in the, our chat room right now. So Barrett is really, really into uh, this uh, terrain, uh, terrain uh, grinder. So if you have any question about the coffee grinder, ask a uh, Porto Keeper, okay? A Porto Keeper, I mean, he knows everything about DF family. All right, DF family, he is. He's, I say he's free. He opened it up, he played with it, yeah, he does, I think he does have a YouTube channel as well. So yeah, he does pretty good work. So this coffee is fantastic. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up the DF83. Let's see how much uh, coffee grinds in there right now, okay? Ever since this is live, 
You seen it? So let's figure out how much coffee grind is inside at this moment. Okay, should be fine. So you, you see how much retention is happening in that coffee grinder. Okay. All right. Uh, with the grinder here, you can just remove everything here. So th this is kind of like a uh, kind of anti popcorn device. And so this one is a metal color. So it's tell you where your zero point is. And this is pretty handy. Uh, this one usually uh, there comes with it. I'm just going to open it up here right now. Just go counterclockwise, you can open it, just like so. It comes with a two, okay. With DF83 or DF84, comes with three spring. Uh, I forgot to grind this last coffee beans. So this one comes with this called wave uh, spring, okay. So give you a better uh, alignment, not better alignments, but better fit, let's put it that way. As you can see from there, folks, let me uh, give you guys close up there. Comes the retention wise. Goodness, not much, not much there, okay. Uh, as you can see from inside, nope, I don't see any. Yeah, so I mean, comes to retention, I mean, this grinder does a pretty good job. Check this out, folks. So let's see how fast this can go. You see this? That is heavy duty. Yeah. Do not put finger, okay? Do not put finger in there. Uh, comes to retention, they are pretty good. I don't see any. Any notable. Let's put it that way, okay? I bet you they got some tiny bit inside, but yeah, you know. But it's not, it's not significant to be matters. Okay. All right. Hold on a second here. Let's see here. I'm, uh, uh, and the Danny say estimate about one gram of retention. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, looking at inside, it's pretty clean right now. So pretty clean there. Okay. So we have, we have a shank, a shank cars, uh, I'm looking for, uh, uh, so this message for Barrett, Portal Keeper, I'm looking for a grinder that on opposite of spectrum in terms of taste from niche, niche general. Okay, so niche is uh, obviously conical, okay? They give you lots of body. So this, uh, niche is good, uh, great for espresso. So you want to go opposite, all right? You want to go flat. So you want to go flat, multi-purpose. Ideally 64 and up, okay, 64 million and up. So you want to go with the MP burst with 64. I don't know what your price range going to be, okay? I don't know what's your price range. Uh, you can go with the cheaper, go with the DFA, uh, DF64, just plain DF64 with the MP burst. Uh, if you have extra money, even like DF64V with a variable speed as well. So now you have some options, but it's all depend on your budget, okay? And if you don't want to spend too much money, uh, the fellow O Gen 2. Okay, Gen 2 birds are fantastic, but you cannot do espresso. All right. You can, uh, espresso is only uh, uh, filter birds only. And so let's not forget the Spectre as well from uh, Sculptor, from Timer. Okay, Timer 64S. 64S does the espresso and filter does well. It's only about 300 bucks. But with that grinder, I want to wait a little bit, okay? Because I want to wait a little bit. Because, because I want to see some uh, more reviews, right? And they determine, they're brand new. They're just coming out right now. So I want to just wait a little bit, uh, get some more information, and then, you know, pull the trigger. With the fellow O Gen 2, I mean, they're a known grinder. It's about 350 there. And then with, their boards are pretty nice. Uh, if you want to buy DF64, goodness, I mean, I mean that's 
you got to do some research, okay? But DF64, just plain DF64, just under 400 bucks. And then we have DF64V, variable speed, uh, right behind me. I think I, we should talk about, talk about that even more, okay? But they're uh, sitting around 600 bucks. Better speed, better build quality, just, just better, okay? I mean, all around. So, all depend on your budget, okay? Hopefully, that answers your question there. We have uh, Wang, Mr. Wang, I hope. Uh, could be their 83V or DF98. You know what? I mean, knowing, okay, turret, all right, that's company. I mean, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised they're going to come up with available speed DF83 or even 98, okay? And I won't be surprised they're going to come up with the large conical birds. Because we need the large conical birds. Only large conical birds are out there for home use. What we got? We got the keys from Weber. We got the uh, 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 HG1 Prime or Weber key grinder. So yeah, there's none, okay? Uh, it's only one company does it, maybe one, maybe two. Uh, Mazer, uh, Mazer Major is, I believe is about, I think that's the 83, uh, 81 millimeter conical burr, okay? But that's, that's coffee shop grinder, all right? That's coffee shop grinder, so. Uh, Troy say that, yep, Troy sends me now. The fellow old Gen 1 for 155. That's a really good price. Is that used or? Yeah, because the uh, new ones are like around two, 275, 250 or so. Yeah, yeah, I mean used. We have a, a Sankar say, I can spend around $1,500. Goodness, that's a good budget there. If you are spending 1500 bucks, okay, make sure, uh, make sure, okay, find out what kind of coffee you like first, all right? Which means, you know, so you want something clean, you want something heavy on the body, make, yeah, make sure to do your research, okay? Make sure to do your research. And then, thinking about the birds, what kind of birds you want to get. If you are planning on spending $1,500, you're not a beginner. And you're not going to be happy with the stock birds at that point, that price range. So you want something, you know, I don't want to say something better, but something more interesting, bird design. So yeah, so, so now SSP is making a lot of 83 millimeter birds now. So you got some options. The dealer, uh, D-Low say P64. That's a really good option. But P64, you are looking at around 1800 bucks. So if you are willing to spend a little more, so let's say around two grand, okay? So now you're at P64 price. That's a 64 millimeter, 64 millimeter. So if you want to go to 83, P100, you are looking at 2700 bucks, 28. So 83 millimeter. Man, we, got, we have a timer Spectre on 78S. It's about $500 range, uh, range there. That's a large bird as well. So uh, do your homework, okay? Do your homework. There's a lot of information out there, all right? There's a lot of information. So make sure to sort through, okay? Sort through. All right. So Jesse, okay, Jesse said buy two or three. The F64 with the different birds. You know what? I mean, that's not a bad idea either. Buy two. If I were, I buy two DF, uh, DF64V, okay, with HU birds and MP birds, or cast and MP, or something like that, okay? So that sets you back around, it's about around what, seven, uh, 1500 bucks, two grinders. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, if you want something different, okay? I know Niche Duo doing the same thing right now. So Niche is coming up with about thousand bucks range there. Come on, I'll give you two bird sets, okay? Espresso and filter friendly. They, I believe they are Mazar birds, okay? They are not SSP. So it's, again, they are different, all right? So again, you got some options. All right, hold on a second here. We have. Uh, Peter Pan asks, are you testing the H40 soon? I have an H40 right here, Peter. Okay, 
H40. Uh, let's do that next couple of days. Okay, next couple of days. Okay, hold on a second. You, we have okay. Let's. We have a wise 911. Can you show a professional descale of a machine? You know what? There comes the descaling. There's a lot of uh, a lot of informations out there. Okay, some manufacturer company they don't want you to do descale. Okay, some some manufacturer company actually they sells it the descaler. So all depends. Uh, with my little Bianca. Uh, I use a filter of water with a, just, just filter water. So it's very, I mean, extremely low calcium. Okay. So I, I don't have to do much. It comes to descaling wise. I do regular cleaning cycle about descaling. Uh, I'm kind of like a little hesitate. Okay. So, but, but with the like uh, La Marzacca, uh, according to their technician, they don't want you to do this. Uh, this scaling on their coffee machine. So it's all depend on the, the manufacturer. All right. Okay, hold on a second here. Yeah, we have a, like a coffee cove. Coffee cove, but everything look like. I have four with timer coming. Yeah, so coffee cove is getting the, all the timer grinders. Uh, uh, I think we are pretty good so far. Okay. We are pretty good so far there. It is a lot of fun. Okay, a lot of fun here. And again, um, if you're thinking about 83 millimeter, now you have options. Okay. Uh, do your research. All right. And uh, as you saw, I mean, this video, uh, we're going to do some blind taste coming up, Elaine. Okay. I'm going to have Sal come over on, on Thursday. We're going to do some blind tasting with the 83 for sure. DF83. Shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker as well. Okay. Super sticker for Mr. Rainbow. All right. Okay, folks. I hope, I, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to thumbs up on it. And then uh, I'm going to see you guys next time. Okay, I'm going to see you guys next time. Hopefully, the Lance is going to join us on our Discord live. Hopefully. Uh, but either way, I'm going to have them on at uh, some point. Okay even YouTube Live or Instagram Live. All right, folks, I'm going to see you guys next time.